Hi all, hope you've had a good week. It's story time again. You know, over the years there have been some good kings and there have been some bad kings. And King Herod was one of those bad ones. He decided that he was going to arrest some of the people that belonged to the church. And he wasn't going to be very kind to them, he was going to do them harm. In fact, he actually killed James the brother of John. And when he saw that the Jewish leaders were pleased about this, he decided he was going to arrest Peter. And, um, and this is what he did. He arrested Peter during one of the festivals, which included Passover. And his intention was that after Passover, he'd bring Peter to court so that he could have his trial. He wanted to make sure Peter was well guarded. So he organised for four squads of guards, four squads of four guards to watch over him. So there was Peter in prison, all on his own. But the church was praying for him. The night before his trial was due to take place, Peter was asleep between two guards. He was bound with chains and there were sentries at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. And he hit Peter on the side and he woke him up and said, Quick, get up! And then the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Put your clothes on and your sandals, the angel said to him. So Peter did as he was told. And then the angel told him to wrap his cloak round him and follow him. Peter followed him out of the prison. But he didn't realise that this was really happening. He thought it was all a dream. They passed the first guards and the second guards and they came to the gate leading out to the city. And when they got there, the gate opened just in front of them, all by itself, and they went through it. And when they walked the length of one of the streets, the angel suddenly disappeared and left Peter on his own. And then Peter realised that this wasn't just a dream. It was real. He was free. Now, he said, now I know without a doubt that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches. He then went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had come together to pray. Peter knocked at the outer door. Her servant girl came to the door. Her name was Rhoda. She came to the door. She opened the hatch and she saw Peter. And she was so delighted. She didn't open the door, she just ran back to the others and said, Peter's outside, Peter's outside. Oh, don't be so daft, they said. And when she kept insisting it was Peter, they said, well, it must be his angel. But in the meantime, Peter kept knocking him. I bet he was banging even louder and he was knocking at the door. And when they opened it and saw him, they were just so surprised. And Peter told them to be quiet. And then he told them how God had rescued him from prison. And he said to them, tell James and the, the other brothers about this. And then he left them and he went off elsewhere. Well, in the morning, you can just imagine what it was like in the prison, can't you? It was quite a commotion. And I don't think the guards understood what had happened. And, and, and they were quite worried. They couldn't find Peter and they were really concerned. And they thought, well, Herod's not going to be pleased about this. He won't like this at all, and, and they just didn't know what to do. Well, Herod searched everywhere for Peter, and quite rightly, they were quite right. He was cross, really, really cross. He wanted to bring Peter to trial, and now he couldn't, and he couldn't find him anywhere. In fact, he was so cross that he even ordered that the, the guards be executed. That's how cross he was. Because, as I said at the beginning, he wasn't a good king. I wonder how you would have felt if you'd been those guards. How would you have felt if you'd been Peter? How would you have felt if you'd been Rhoda and the others didn't believe you? How does God look after you? Have a chance to think about these questions and talk to somebody during the week and share your ideas with them. God bless you, stay safe 
and I'll see you next week. Bye.